What is the difference between a paperclip and a house? It seems obvious, doesn't it? But I will say it anyway. There is no difference. They are one and the same thing. How can that be? Through the art of flipping. Flipping is the act of exchanging an item for something of greater value. This can include products, money or services. So now, how do you get a house from a paperclip? Well, first you take your paperclip and trade it for a pen. Now you take your pen and trade that for a book. Now you take your book and trade it for a house. Well, almost. I skipped around 50 steps in between, but you get the gist of it. And while this is a fun way of doing it, flipping items for other items is playing the flipping game on hard mode. And I don't know about you, but I like to play the flipping game on easy mode, which is why I flip items for money instead. So here are the three steps that I follow that make flipping a piece of cake and your dream house a reality. We of course start with acquisition because before we can even sell anything, we have to first buy something. I personally like to go to auctions, Facebook marketplace, or I go through the big rubbish on the side of the road. Just the other day, one of my neighbors threw out a beautiful barbecue. I of course took it back home with me and it still had gas inside. So what did I do? I go, went to the store, bought myself a steak and sizzled it up. You know how the saying goes, one man's trash is another one's treasure. And there are so many treasure opportunities out there. So many, in fact, that it's very important to distinguish between the good opportunities and the bad opportunities. Here's how I do it. First, I will check on the potential profit. So how much money can I earn? Then I check the condition. How much time will I have to spend to repair and clean up the item? Afterwards, I check the demand. How likely is it that my item is gonna sell or just be collecting dust in the garage? Only when those criteria are met, will I acquire the item and proceed to the next step, which is step number two, preparation. You know, flipping is not just about making a quick buck. For me, flipping is about providing additional value. For example, just the other day, I bought a beautiful 2009 Ford Ranger. And before even putting it up for sale, I made sure to get the windshield repaired, the front bumper cover replaced, and the interior plus the exterior detailed. Now, did I need to do that? No. And many people try and skip these steps. But honestly, I think they're lazy. And I don't want to be lazy. I want to provide additional value. So in essence, I will make sure to prepare the item in such a way that I'm proud to own and sell the item. Which brings me to the third and final step, which is the sale. I used to be a salesman. I used to sell solar panels door to door, dental insurances on the phone. And I even persuaded pedestrians in the city to donate to charity. And during that time as a salesman, there's one thing in particular that I learned. No matter what business you are in, sales is a vital component. And the same goes for flipping. So I sell mostly through Facebook Marketplace or eBay. I'm currently also experimenting with selling through my own website. But no matter where I'm selling, I always have to create a listing first. So here's how I do it. First, I make sure to price the item fairly because nobody wants to buy anything that's overpriced. Then I make sure to take pictures as if there will be no description written. Afterwards, I write a description as if there will be no pictures. And this will make sure that the item will sell eventually. With the item selling, I want to congratulate you. You have now learned to buy and sell pretty much anything. This is of course just a rough overview. 
and will need a lot of practice and repetitions to get better at it. With the core principles, you can flip anything. Cars, houses, boats. The only limit is your imagination. And now I need to excuse myself because I can see some paper clips over there. And I'm not gonna let this opportunity pass. If you want to see more about flipping, check out my last video, in which I tried flipping for 30 days, which was like half a year ago, but I didn't upload it until a couple of weeks ago. So make sure to check that out, and I'll see you next time.